Good morning and welcome to our service on this the Wednesday after the seventh Sunday of Trinity where we're celebrating the feast day of Mary, Martha and Lazarus, companions of our Lord. Alleluia! Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia! O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. My heart tells of your word. Seek my face. Your face, Lord, will I seek. We praise you, O God. We acclaim you as the Lord. All creation worships you, the Father everlasting. To you, all angels, all the powers of heaven, the cherubim and seraphim, sing in endless praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Please join me as we say together Psalm 49, verses 5 to 10 and verse 16. Why should I fear when evil days come, when wicked deceivers surround me, those who trust in their wealth and boast of their great riches? No man can redeem the life of another or give to God a ransom for him. The ransom for a life is costly. No payment is ever enough that he should live on for ever and not see decay. For all can see that wise men die, the foolish and the senseless alike perish and leave their wealth to others. Do not be overawed when a man grows rich, when the splendour of his house increases. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. A Song of David Blessed are you, God of Israel, for ever and ever. For yours is the greatness, the power, the glory, the splendour and the majesty. Everything in heaven and on earth is yours. Yours is the kingdom, O Lord, and you are exalted as head over all. Riches and honour come from you, and you rule over all. In your hand are power and might. Yours it is to give power and strength to all. And now we give you thanks, our God, and praise your glorious name. For all things come from you, and of your own have we given you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Our reading is from St. John's Gospel, chapter 12, reading verses 1 to 8. Six days before the Passover, Jesus arrived at Bethany, where Lazarus lived, whom Jesus had raised from the dead. Here a dinner was given in Jesus' honour. Martha served, while Lazarus was among those reclining at the table with him. Then Mary took about a pint of pure nard, an expensive perfume. She poured it on Jesus' feet and wiped his feet with her hair, and the house was filled with the fragrance of the perfume. But one of his disciples, Judas Iscariot, who was later to betray him, objected. Why wasn't this perfume sold and the money given to the poor? It was worth a year's wages. He did not say this because he cared about the poor, but because he was a thief. As keeper of the money bag, he used to help himself to what was put into it. Leave her alone, Jesus replied. It was intended that she should save this perfume for the day of my burial. You will always have the poor among you, but you will not always have me. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the words of my mouth and the meditations of our hearts now and always be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, our strength and our Redeemer. Amen. Mary, Martha and Lazarus were very different characters, yet Jesus loved them all just as he loves all of us 
equally. Today I've chosen an article from a book called Still Waters, Deep Waters, written by Roland Croucher. The passage is called You Are Accepted and it aims to help our thinking this morning. Lord, the wonder of your grace always amazes me. There's a part of me which still finds it hard to believe. Somehow it seems to reverse all religious protocol. You love me as I am, grubby and outrageous, and without me first having to wash my hands and comb my hair. You have accepted me completely, no reserve, just as I am. But, there always has to be a but, this is a but of grace. It does not follow logic, but it's the dictate of love. But that thy blood was shed for me, so I am accepted as I am, because of Jesus, and not because I'm good enough. Even as a child I sang and believe, there was no other good enough to pay the price of sin. Why do I still find it so hard to accept acceptance? Is it the pride that's the root of all my sin? Lord, here today I want to sing of your amazing grace that accepts me. I am so often defeated by the memory of my own rebellion, by disgust at my indifference, by shame at my weakness. How can you love me? I don't even like myself when I see myself as I really am. But then you really do tell me in Jesus' words that you love the real me. May your word of acceptance lift me to that love of self which is so different from egoism and which is only ever possible because you first loved me. Help me to accept others just as they are. Not to be indifferent to their need to change, but to begin with them just as you have begun with me. Show me how really to open up to others and not fear my vulnerability. So may my relationship with you shape my relationships with others, accepting, loving and encouraging. One of our most basic needs is to be accepted. When others recognise and value us, we feel alive and fulfilled. We need acceptance, just as birds need air and fish need water. Who can't recall the nervous tension of that first day at a new school or a new job? When we move on to a strange location, how greatly we long to be accepted by our neighbours. Advertisers can play on this need, telling us that if only we wear this, smoke that or drink the other, we'll be part of the in group. The church is God's answer for our need to belong. Our gospel speaks of a God who accepts us as we are. Then we're capable of accepting others, even as Christ has accepted us. Barriers are down. We belong. Of course, the world has not yet seen it as it ought to be. We're all slow learners in the church, the school for sinners. Most of us are in the remedial class. But the first and absolute necessity is that we can accept that we are accepted. To grow in that awareness is to grow into the potential of truly accepting others. Love your neighbour as you love yourself, says God. And Jesus says to us, in effect, Accept yourself as God accepts you. Be yourself. Love yourself properly. Take off your dark coloured glasses and see yourselves not as superior or inferior to anybody else, but as you, a person who matters. You are not meant to go through life on your hands and knees. You are meant to walk tall. You are more significant, stronger, wiser and more creative than you think. I am with you to help you and to give you life to the full. Remember, God loves you as you are the only person in the world and he loves everyone the way he loves you. Amen.
Let us pray. Lord, we Christians are all kinds of people with different strengths and weaknesses, yet you love us all the same. Thank you for the constancy of your love. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Thank you, Lord, for progress being made in the battle against COVID-19. We pray for countries where the virus rate is accelerating and ask for a sharing of knowledge and help to ease their plight. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, our relationships with family and friends have changed in recent months and only now, as conditions ease, can some people meet up with others they haven't seen in a long time. Bless all our friendships and relationships that they may stay strong and fresh. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, many we know are ill and they welcome prayer and your healing touch. Please bless those we mention quietly now. Meet their needs, please, Lord, and send people to help them. Comfort all who are sad or lonely. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. And so we say our collect together. God our Father, whose Son enjoyed the love of his friends, Mary, Martha and Lazarus, in learning, argument and hospitality, may we so rejoice in your love that the world may come to know the depths of your wisdom, the wonder of your compassion and your power to bring life out of death through the merits of Jesus Christ, our friend and brother, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. And we say our Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May God, who made both heaven and earth, bless us. Amen. <laughs>